Welcome back on this Friday. Take a look at this already. Ali Lankar Bridges is live in the studio with us this morning working on this piece of art. She started at the beginning of the show. She's going to finish by the end. Man, her talent is incredible. Uh, it's a very art centric Friday here, Kristen, mm -hmm. on QC Morning. Uh, and we can't wait to take a look at this coming up in just a little bit. Look how pretty that is. I know. I mean, don't you wish? Wow. I just wish. Yeah, I'm so grateful though that people like her have that skill so we can just look at it all day. And hang it up in our house. Yeah. Well, tons of artists from not just North Carolina but around the world are showing off their work at the Charlotte International Arts Festival. So it's a good time to get out and see some interactive exhibits. Mm-hmm. QC Live Cheryl Broadway is live at Romare Bearden Park this morning. There, that is one of the places where the Charlotte International Arts Festival has just like exploded all over the park in the best way. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Mary and Kristen. Yeah, it's super cool. Artists from near and far really participating in the Charlotte International Arts Festival. We're here at the Tree of Life, just one of 13 installations. I know we have live performances. Joining me now is Bree Stalling. She is the Director of Artistic Experiences for Blumenthal. Welcome back. Thank you. Good morning. So first of all, tell me a little bit about this one before we go into the sort of broad scope. The Tree of Life, this is done by local artists? Sure, this is done by local artists, uh, a collaboration collective called Upcycle Arts. They work with trash and recyclables to create larger than life uh, sculptures that you can see here. The three contributors on this one are uh, Kat Cornelius, Angela Comer, and Doyle Bussey. And all of this was made from trash from between here and Concord. And it lights up at night. It's really a sight to be seen. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love the sort of creative and innovative art they do. We're going to keep walking here as we, as we talk about this huge event. You guys have been planning this for quite some time. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, we've been working on this for 18 months now and we have you turn around <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna walk backwards we got it and uh for the blumenthal fellows program we started this last year and we funded 24 projects for almost a quarter million dollars uh, 11 of those have already been presented and the remaining 13 are happening here for the festival uh this week so it's really exciting um we're walking over towards h2o which was by an artist collective called art c and y'all will get to see a little bit more about that so these are the two here at romare beard in. There's more around town. You can find them on our website, charlotteartsfest.com. Thank you so much, Bree. Yeah, we're heading over. Here we come, Rebecca and Thomas. Hi, you guys have done this brilliant you. installation. Hey, guys, it's called H2O. Tell me a little bit about H2O. Yes, H2O is an interactive mural, so you can come up to the mural and spray water on it, and it emerges and changes as the water hits the surface. Are you guys a collective, Thomas? Tell me a little bit about your art group. Yeah, we have four members, uh, Anastasia, Caleb, uh, me, Thomas and, and Rebecca here and we uh, we uh, have been together for what three years or two or three years now and we've been uh, trying to make art together and do do crazy things in uh, in, uh, in uh, Charlotte here doing interactive murals awesome interactive okay artwork. tell me a little bit about this what do we do with this yes yeah, so without water it doesn't exist is meaning you cannot see the mural underneath without spraying water so you're gonna crank the pump and then hold the hose and spray some water on the mural all right let's see it happen you're gonna do the cranking right Thomas yes ma'am <laughs> so what's the idea what is the idea behind this oh it is we're just uh we have these um we'll, these, i'm gonna get you cranking while we oh, talk okay, okay okay we have uh we have um these animals here that are um that are uh endangered and we just uh we uh <clears throat> we wanted to make exposure to the fact that we need water in our on our planet and that water is uh important and we wanted to show that to uh to the whole community, right? right. Yes. And then Rebecca, so as I'm doing this, we're revealing some very cool things. It has sort of a double meaning. Oh yes, the double meaning is the mural itself would not exist without water because you are revealing it as we speak. But also all these endangered animals would also not exist without water. So we would just want the public to think about how important water is on our planet. How's it going so far? I imagine a ki the kids especially enjoy doing this and seeing the revelation appear oh. before their eyes. Oh yes, definitely. We've gotten great feedback. Everybody loves coming up and spraying water on it and revealing it at different times. It'll take about 20 minutes to kind of go back to white and then you can come on anytime and spray it. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. What does it mean for you guys to be out here alongside artists from all over the world who've been celebrated and applauded for their work? Oh, we're grateful to be here. It's um, wonderful to be here with all these amazing, amazing artists and just to create something that is so interactive for the public and we're just grateful for it. 
All right, exciting for you too, Thomas. Oh yeah, and we've met some great artists out here um, with the Bloomingthals, and uh, and they they've all been really kind and, and great to us, and uh, we were excited to uh, know all these new artists and. And, and find and, and know them from around the world and, and it's fun country, yeah. it's so fun and you guys have done a brilliant job I love what you've done you're thinking outside the box we love it you guys are gonna be out here until October October 2nd yes so you come on and see it you got one more week or so what week and a half All right. we love it hey you guys coming up we have another exhibit for you from one of those international artists I just feel inspired being out here super fun